Hello and welcome back to Lumosity. Today's workout is going to be put off until after we get through the normal routine of this now. It's normal now. Ah, oh, Giuseppe Torelli was an Italian violinist, violist, teacher, and composer. Torelli is most remembered for his contributions to the development of the instrumental concerto, Newman, 1972, page 142, especially the concerti grossi and the solo concerto for strings and continuo, as well as being the most prolific Baroque composer for trumpets. Tar, 1974. Torelli was born in Verona. It is not known with whom he studied violin, though it has been speculated that he was a pupil of Leonardo Brugnoli or Bartolomeo Laurenti, but it is certain that he studied composition with Giacomo Antonio Perti. <coughs> ah. So, uh, it doesn't say when this guy was, like, born. But I lived, died. You know, there's no... I mean, yeah, he's old, but... Like, what am, what am I thinking? Like, 17th century. No results found! What? Okay. Okay, are you serious? Re really? No results found... I doubt that! This... This is really wise. See, it shows you all. Oh man! See, it shows you all these old. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Probably. Okay, there's probably some. Just don't worry about it. All right, we're gonna find this by not doing that, and we're just gonna go directly, duh, to Wikipedia. <laughs> That's where we're going anyway. All right. The second part of the Trumbo Concerto in D. Estion Roger 188. Torelli is remembered for his important contributions to the trumpet repertoire, having created fundamental works for his this instrument. He is also credited with being the first composer to write for solo violin and orchestra as opposed to the more popular form of the Concerto Grosso. But apparently he helped, he was important for that too. Man, this guy's old and influential. Well, I, I guess you're old, you are pretty much influential, but... Anyway, uh, you... You uh... No, not you said, Bertie. Thank you. What? G I U. Oh no. G O G I U. What? Are you? Oh. G U S. Okay. It's more common than I thought. Right. Or is it always common? Wait, was I spelling it wrong the entire time? Is this been misspelled? Ah! Oh, I was spelling it wrong. Oh! Face bomb. Right? Ah, oh, here we are. Yeah. Okay, so he's 17th century, late 17th century. Alright, read this if you want. This is a little bit beyond what we need to do, what we need to do. So we're going to move on a bit to the sheet music and then we can continue. No Oops. Sorry about that. Here, yeah, hopefully it's hopefully I didn't interrupt the flow too much for you. Okay. And this would be the quite looking music. 
Not, not that I can actually do it. It's just, you know, it's not like Beethoven's Fifth Symphony in houses. <laughs> yeah. These are, that's like cold notes. Okay. Wow, I almost feel like I could play some of this. But, I don't know. No, I could Okay, so that's, oh. And we can look at these two. So like, this is what, the complete score? Let's look at the trumpet solo. Yeah. So this is what the trumpet uh, has to deal with. Oh, only two pages? Oh, that sounds sound so bad. No, does it? And this is just the trumpet solo, not oh, it's by itself. I don't know. And, um... Harpsichord. Far more difficult. Whoa, dude! I go. Now on with the episodes. On with our slash training. I'm feeling good. I've got seven hours sleep. That means that I'm about to pass out from exhaustion. Because yesterday I got four and a half. But it also means that I'm being very efficient with my time. I'm I'm spending very little of it asleep. And very much of it doing recordings and other stuff and recordings and oh gosh. Of course it will hurt my Lamasti score, there's no doubt about that. It's there's just no way around it. I I'm I'm tired. Ah. Ah. Oh do, do I need to do I need to tell you what a concerto grosso is. Okay, well, think about this. Even though this isn't a concerto grosso. All right, think here. A concerto, what does grosso mean? I don't know. Oh, right, because if you knew, you wouldn't be asking. Okay, okay, well, what does a uh, gross mean? Huh? It's all of it together, yeah? It's Latin. Is it, is it Latin? Oh, let me see if that's Latin. Gross. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so it's large. Omni, of course, would be all. Would it be? Oh, no, no, that's, uh, Omni is definitely all. Alright, so gross is large. So a concerto grosso would be the broke form of a symphony. It's a concerto, but it is big enough because it, to be a symphony, because it's a big orchestra, it's a big concerto, basically big meaning for large orchestra. Nothing clapping there. Yeah, I know, <sighs> but no one can see me, so it's okay. <laughs> And there can now be audio here. Oh, but not that loud. Okay, your eardrums probably just exploded. Sorry about that. Uh, you know what would be really nice? If YouTube had a, um, a like, a good, it had a cap on the amount of decibels a certain thing was. You know? That would be really nice. Because there's sometimes when the eardrums just explode everywhere. It's a huge mess. I don't want to clean that up every day. So it would be nice if, if everyone actually, every, everyone, if, the, if you could find very common a, de, a, a decibel uh, caps. So like, um... You know, like QuickTime Player. Please don't play anything that's ridiculously loud. Ah. It's just a safety measure, you know? What if we're on a website that is designed to make our eardrums explode? 
Well, that's not good now, is it? I've got high quality. Oh, heck. Don't show me that. I'm trying to do this. Anyway, that, that reminder is seriously old and no one cares about it anymore. Uh, no one. Okay, how am I doing so bad at this? Am I not focusing at all? Uh, I don't think so. I think I am. I don't, I don't think I'm focusing at all. Oh, fail. Because these aren't really that difficult. Oh, well. <clears throat> Focus on the last two. Perfect. Oh, last three. And... There we have it. Pinball recall. Ah, train of thought. Don't mention that this is like a, a, a little uh, bit of... It's like a game that I played when I was young. A game called Lionel Train Town. Oh, I love that game. I ought to play it again. I doubt there'd be anyone having an issue with it. Oh, and if you do have an issue with anyone, with me doing this, and or if YouTube has an issue, oh, of course, that's if they have an issue. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to say something. No, I'm not going to say something. But I, um, just like in the app, remember that uh, thing I was telling you about? Did I tell you about that? With that video where I was blocked worldwide because the false content ID claim, it identified my videos having playthrough from another, as, as being taken from another video, even though it just turned out that my, I guess, my, my playing was very similar to someone else's. I watched it. It wasn't. But yeah, for jump. And I get it. Jump is such low resolution. It makes sense. It would be very similar. Right? I mean, the, the vast majority level is going to look very similar from time to time. I get that. I don't get why someone else would want to play that stupid game. But YouTube's a big place. What is it, like 100 hours being uploaded every minute hour? Minutes? How? I don't know. It's more than you could ever watch. That's for sure. Whoa. I feel sorry for whatever computer tries to catalog that all. You know, when there's a super omnipotent AI that tries to take over the world, but has to know humanity to defeat it. And his death start is going on here. Yeah. And is thusly required to watch all of YouTube to better understand this. I feel sorry for that AI. Oh, no. Oh, and he'll be watching these episodes, too. Well, not watching, of course, but processing it very, very, very fast. Just the raw data of... So, uh, AI! Hi! Oh, I rhymed! Aha! Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit weird, AI. Look at that. I won, but I failed. I I got something to the destination, which is very difficult to do. But I missed something that was not as difficult. And you know, as it turns out, though, there are quite a few here that are difficult. The just summer. Okay, okay, I don't like this. There are a bunch going through. And there's got to be something that is not working right. And where was it? That blue one did, did not go to the right place, did it? I had a feeling. Okay, but I can't see. It's so hard to tell, you know. There's this over here. Is this over here? Ah, oh, this. This is bad. I was all this is all so this is all I was so your sir the mass I was looking at that and I was not thinking about what to be doing 
And now look at me. No doubt I'm embarrassed. Ah, gah. Um, go on through. I think you go through. Right, right. I'm all right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, gosh. I don't think the red one is going to the correct location. Oh, yeah. No! Are you serious? Oh, the last train is a failure. Ouch. That was bad. Especially considering how hard I was trying. That was really bad. But as I said, I'm tired. And so, I mean, first of all, I usually get up at one. Second of all, I only had seven hours sleep. Okay, that's... Third of all, third of all I only got like four and a half hours of sleep yesterday. So, I'm running a slight sleep deficit. Now, I've never heard that you can do such a thing. That you can actually maintain a lack of sleep across days. But, I... Well, you did get it some, at least some sleep. But I don't see why not. I mean, you can go a full day without sleeping. If you do, and do that a second day... And a third, perhaps if you're really strong, a fourth, or even, whoa, dude, fifth day, no sleep, like a boss, too stupid. Uh, but you are going to die eventually. Yeah, so in that case, sleep does carry over. And I should think that if you only got one or two hours, Unless your brain was different. I mean, like Einstein only got a few hours of sleep. But he only needed a few hours of sleep. And if as fast as his brain thought to wake, thought just as, you know, just like his brain thought, thought faster while he's awake, thought faster while he's asleep too, so he could get all that sleep and stuff done faster. Like a super genius boss. So yeah, um, okay, you know, Sonny, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the end of this episode already. I hate it when that happens, because then I feel like this gets boring, or maybe it was already boring, and that's why I'm looking to the, forward to the end of it, but isn't there some way I can make it not boring? You know, it is true. I'm waking up. I'm becoming self-aware that something here is going horribly wrong. And yet, somehow, even so, I do not see a way to correct my errors. I can look on it back. I can look back on it later and think, that sucked. That episode was horrible. And yet there's nothing I can do to save it. Tisk, tisk. Thanks for watching this episode, bad though it may have been. Bad though it was. Oh, gosh. What is going on? I think this classical is bringing you down, man. Maybe. But more likely it's that plus lack of sleep. Or maybe just lack of sleep. Or... Uh, or maybe it's also donuts. I'm sure donuts are involved somehow, even though I didn't eat any. Goodbye!